Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold the resolve if you're having an issue with Windows Update Error Code 802.4402C. So if this is Windows cannot search for new updates, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and address this tutorial without too much of a hassle, hopefully for you guys. So first things first, if you're running Windows 7, there's going to be a, a Microsoft help link in the description of the video. I want you guys to run that because in Windows 10, this troubleshooter is built directly into the operating system. So it'll be a little bit different, but it's the same process should generally apply. We're trying to achieve the same result. So with that out of the way, since I'm on Windows 10, we're going to go through the built-in Windows Update Troubleshooting Utility. In order to do that, we're just going to go open up the Start menu. Just so click on the Start button one time. Type in Troubleshoot. Best match to come back with Troubleshoot Settings. You want to go ahead and left click on that one time. And you want to go underneath first is Get Up and Running. You want to left click on Windows Update, Resolve Problems that Prevent You from Updating Windows. And then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. So if you're running the utility from Microsoft, it should be a pretty similar process. I've already run this utility a little while ago, so it might not pick up on anything, but hopefully it'd be able to if you were having any issues on your computer, and hopefully that's probably why you'd end up on this tutorial. You're probably not just watching it just to watch it. So, I mean, of course, unless you're subscribed to the channel or whatnot. So, like I said, it might not have been able to identify the problem. Hopefully in your case, if it did, just follow along with whatever it suggests again and I also would suggest following that up with restarting your computer and hopefully it's resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing a problem another thing we can go ahead and try would be to open up the start menu type in run R U N. best match to go back or run left click on that and in the open field here you want to type in ncpa.cpl Again, ncpa.cpl, and either hit enter on your keyboard or left click on OK. This should open up the local area connection status, and whatever network is currently in here. So you guys might have various network options. You just want to select whatever your current network is, so whether it's Ethernet or Wi-Fi. doesn't really matter for the purpose of this tutorial. You want to go ahead and right click on it, and then left click on Properties. Versus Internet Protocol version 4, you want to left click on that, and then while you have this selected, you want to left click on Properties. So if you're using some funky DNS server, you want to go to select Obtain DNS Server automatically as well as Obtain an IP address automatically. Alternatively, you can also use Google's own DNS server, so if you want to select to use the following DNS server address, you could just type in 8, and then click inside the next area of the field, type in 8 again, 8. 8 and then alternate would be 8844. Notice I'm not typing them all into one area. Like you can type multiple numbers into one space here. You don't want to do that. You just want to make sure it's spaced out evenly here. So the top one is just four eights in a row, and the second one for the alternate DNS server is 8.8.4.4. Don't actually type any dots, they automatically are there. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and left click on OK click on close and then I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully it's resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing an issue here you can go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry editor, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. In order to do that, it's very simple. You would just left click on the file tab up at the top left, left click on export, save the file name, preferably is something you'll be able to easily recognize like the date in which you're making the backup. Make sure export range is selected at all and then save it to a convenient location you'll be able to access if you ever needed to go back to the previous version of the registry. And then you just again left click on save. And if you ever had to bring that old version of the registry back in, you just would do File, Import, and just navigate over to the file. So, very simple. So, with that out of the way, you want to go ahead and expand the HK Local Machine folder. So, either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the selection. And then you want to do the same thing for the Software folder. Go down to Policies and expand that one as well. 
expand Microsoft. Now you want to expand the Windows folder. Go down to Windows Update, expand that one as well. And now left click on the AU folder in here. So you can see the path that we're following on the top of the registry editor right here. And please keep in mind if you do not see a Windows Update folder or an AU folder, you always just right click on the Windows folder here. Left click on New and then just select Key and call it Windows Update with no spaces. And then once you've created the Windows Update folder, you can just right click on Windows Update, left click on New, and then select Key. And you would just call that AU. So once you've done that, now on the right side, you want to go ahead and set a Use WU server. So if you don't already see one here, you just want to right click in a blank area, left click on New, and then left click on DWORD 32-bit value. You're going to call it like I have right above it. So Use WU server, no spaces, and the U in Use. WU and the S in server should all be capitalized here. And then you just would click to save it. I already have one here, so I can't save it as the same thing, but you guys get the point. So once you have the D word value in here, you want to go ahead and double click on it. For value data, you want to set it to zero. So if it says one, just delete it. Type the number zero in here. So zero base should be hexadecimal. And left click on OK. Once you're done with that, you should be able to just close out of the registry editor. Again, if you didn't see the Windows Update folder or the AU, like I showed you guys, just create it. It's very simple. You can rewatch the video a hundred times if you want to. You saw me do it. So close out the registry editor, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.